Hi folks, welcome to this new Kencha tutorial on how to do sections in 3D. So we've got this uh, omnipresent Bonnie example data set. And we'll notice that we want to see where the met samples are, but we can't really see inside. It would be nice if we could see through. There's one way to do it is with the, the clipper. We can see that with the clipper. Um, but another way is to use the section tool. So if I click on the section tool, which is this cleaver here uh, on, the, on the second toolbar, uh, first of all, we'll notice that it, it comes up with a top-down view with a, an arrow pointing to the plane that we're going to be looking at. Uh, and then we can drag that around any way we want to have it on the screen. And then we're given two planes here. We're given the section plane, which turns gray when you put your mouse over it, and the reference plane, which is see-through. The reference plane basically tells you how far away from uh, from the section plane it is. So yeah, I just changed it from 10 meters to 100, and you see it's going to take a bigger depth of stuff. Now you can see inside this plane, there's a bunch of drill holes and met samples, right? So I turn off the buff wall quickly. Um, sorry, the shell, the block model. We can see that these these things, these drilling and 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 samples that are inside there, those are the ones that are going to be painted on the section. So 100 meters is quite a big for Bonnie. So let's just go back down to say you know 20 meters or so. And so now we'll only have this small amount of, of samples and drilling projected on, on the on the 2D section. Um, and the block model that's going to be projected will be the block model on. The, the section plane itself, nothing to do with the volume. Uh, and the same for the shells. So in this case, we've got a pitch shell and the pitch shell will also be drawn on there. So we've got we've got two ways to set up where we want the um, uh, section to go. We can drag, we can put a mouse over the, the section plane and drag it left and right. Or we can grab the arrow head and spin it round and get the angle we're looking for and move it to where we want it to be, right? Or well, the other way is to come here in the section window that's emerged here on the right hand side and we could manually type that we want this to be you know for example 900 here so it'll take it to the 900 um or, or whatever you want to do or maybe an azimuth of uh you know zero to make it perpendicular again so um and then once we've got the plane the way we want it uh we can save these as well so we can plus the hit the uh, green plus thing here and we can call it, you know, uh, view A. Uh, and then we can switch between these different views uh, that have been previously saved. Okay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the button. So right now we're in 3D mode, which is this ball looking icon here. And now we want to switch to 2D mode, which is like a slice of the of the ball, which is just the right of it. And then you'll see it'll project it here onto um, the uh, section. Uh, looks like squirrely, so uh, oh, maybe because we've got two narrower views, so let's may maybe make it a little bit bigger, uh, make it 25 meter. Uh, and now we've got some samples and drilling inside that sandwich. Um, we've got our 3D, uh, so we've got the, the thumbnail here of where the section is. And, uh, you know, now that we've got enough room on the screen, we can maybe put on some labels. So let's put on the collar and the label for the drill uh, hole and the drill path. And then we can also put on the uh, label for the metallurgical sample. Uh, and now we can step through the deposit and we can see uh, uh, the metallurgical samples and how they're related to, in this case, uh, the silver grade in the block model. I can bring in a, a legend here to see what we're looking at. And uh, yeah, as you can see, you can use these tools here to, to step forward and backwards. You'll notice that the line moves up and down. The same one here, you'll notice that it's moving up and down in, in 25 meter increments. So the same width that you've got for the uh, for the section is also the uh, the width that it moves every time you step. And you can basically step through the deposit and uh, get some representative uh, uh, sections. So, you know, you can have different color schemes, of course, and you can see the shell is expressed by this purple line here. And uh, you can still click on samples if you want and uh, click on drill core. Um, so that's sections. Uh, to get out of section mode, just click again on the meat cleaver. 
and back out of sections again. Okay, so uh, that's section mode in 3D in Kencha.